Hello YouTube, Millennium X17 here. This is the intro video to my playthrough of the Carvin V3M all tube amplifier. It is here, it works. So, what's going to happen here is in the following videos, over the next two days I would say, I'm going to be playing through all three channels of this amplifier. We're going to do it with every single knob, 12 o'clock position, all the way down, all the way up, move to the next knob, through all the different switches, all the other things as well. So, what's going to be, so it's going to be the Ibanez S470 FR into the RP500 down here on the floor in front of me. RP500, the amp cabinet bypass for the effects loop has been engaged. So, it's just straight through. The only thing I'm using this for is a noise gate. That's the only thing. So then straight into this, straight in to the input on the V3M. V3M going into a Carvin 2x12 cabinet, two G GT12s, being mic'd up with an ES57 XLR straight down the hallway around the corner to the MXL mic main into Audacity recorded WAV file. If you watch this video in 1080p quality, you are listening to a less compressed audio as well. So it's higher quality audio and not only is the video as well. The camera will be positioned directly in front of the amplifier. The only thing you're going to be able to see is these knobs very clearly. You'll be able to read them. I'll adjust if everything just right so that way you can see it and you'll be able to hear it very well. So we're going to start off with, like I said, the Ibanez right here. Uh, Dean Markley's 10 set of 10s, they're blue steels, standard tuned. So there's that. Once we run through all the channels, we're then going to switch over to the guitars I have over there. Probably lower tunings is what that's going to be. It's going to be probably the Schecter, one step down, and then probably maybe the Les Paul at two and a half, it is two steps down, a drop B flat, and then to finish up, I'll have my seven string brought out into that so we can go through and see how it sounds, not only with what I can come up with, but then there's also the, what Carvin has sent me in the instruction manual. And then, in the next couple of days, hopefully, maybe, my guitar instructor will be over as well, so that we can hear someone who can actually play to get a sound sample of this amplifier. So anyway, like I was saying, this is my intro video to the Carvin V3M amplifier, and more parts to come in the next two days. So until next time, you guys have yourselves a good day.